Most people over 60 don't realize this. After the age of 50, we naturally lose about 1-2% to 2 of our muscle strength every year. That means by 70, many seniors struggle with basic things like standing up easily or climbing stairs, and creatine could help if you use it correctly. You've made a smart decision clicking on this video because by the end, you'll know whether taking creatine every day for 30 days is safe, effective, and right for you. I've spent years researching natural ways to help seniors stay strong, independent, and full of energy, and that's what I share on this channel. If that sounds good to you, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future tips. And stay with me because in just a bit, I'll reveal one mistake many seniors make with creatine that can cancel out its benefits. Let's get into it. Muscle loss, or sarcopenia, is a silent challenge that affects nearly one-third of adults over 60. It's not just about looking fit, it's about staying mobile, balanced, and confident. Now, traditional advice might focus on eating more protein or walking a little more, but that's often not enough to slow down the muscle loss that comes with aging. This is where creatine comes in. Creatine is a natural compound your body makes and stores in your muscles. It helps your muscles produce energy during short bursts of effort, like when you rise from a chair, lift groceries, or catch yourself from falling. As we age, our body's natural creatine levels decline. That's why some seniors feel weaker, tire out faster, or notice their legs aren't as steady as before. Now, can older adults safely take creatine every day for 30 days? The research says yes for most people. Studies in journals like the Journal of Nutrition, Health and Aging and Nutrients have shown that seniors who took daily creatine for several weeks saw improvements in muscle strength, endurance, and even mental sharpness. One study from 2020 found that older adults taking 3 to 5 grams of creatine per day, combined with simple strength exercises, gain more muscle than those who didn't supplement. But how does creatine actually work in your body? Let's break it down in simple terms. Imagine your muscles as little engines. When you need to move quickly or lift something, those engines burn fuel called ADP. Creatine helps your body make more of this fuel, so your muscles don't run out of energy so fast. This can help you feel stronger during everyday tasks. Here's where people get it wrong. Some think creatine is just for young bodybuilders or athletes. But that's not true. In fact, Seniors may benefit even more because of that natural age-related decline in muscle energy. And you don't have to do intense workouts to see benefits. Research suggests that even with light resistance exercises, like leg lifts or chair squats, creatine can help. So what happens if you take it daily for 30 days? Based on studies, you may notice better muscle endurance a bit more strength when standing or walking, and perhaps less fatigue. Some people report feeling steadier on their feet. But it's important to set realistic expectations. This isn't an overnight miracle. Most improvements happen gradually over several weeks, especially when paired with gentle activity. If you're ready to try creatine, here's how to do it safely. First, the typical dose for seniors is 3 to 5 grams of creatine monohydrate per day. That's about 1 teaspoon. No need to load or take large doses, that can cause digestive upset for some people. Just take it once a day, mixed in water or tea, at a time that's easy for you to remember. Always check with your doctor before starting creatine, especially if you have kidney concerns or take medications that affect kidney function. Creatine is generally safe for healthy older adults, but it's smart to get personalized advice. And don't overdo it, more isn't better. Stick to the recommended dose. You might wonder about side effects. In studies on older adults, creatine is usually well tolerated. Some people may feel a little bloated at first as creatine can draw water into your muscles. This is normal and usually goes away. If you experience stomach upset, try splitting the dose in half and taking it twice a day. Here's the biggest mistake I see. People start taking creatine but don't change anything else. 
They sit more, skip protein at meals and expect creatine to work like magic. The truth is, creatine helps amplify the benefits of movement. So aim to stay active, even if it's just walking or doing chair exercises at home. If you're thinking, this sounds good, but what if I stop after 30 days? Good news, creatine doesn't build up in your system in a harmful way. When you stop, your body's levels will slowly return to normal over a few weeks. There's no withdrawal or danger from stopping. But for ongoing benefits, consistency is key. Let's bring this together. Creatine may help older adults feel stronger, steadier, and less fatigued. But only if it's part of a bigger plan that includes good food, gentle movement, and daily care. What makes this approach different from conventional advice is that we're supporting your body's natural processes rather than just treating symptoms after problems arise. So here's what I want you to take away today. First, creatine is generally safe for most seniors when used daily at recommended doses. Second, the benefits build over time. It's not instant, but it can make daily life easier. Third, creatine works best when combined with light activity and a balanced diet. And lastly, always partner with your healthcare provider when trying new supplements. If you found this helpful, don't stop here. Click on the video showing on your screen right now. Seniors, what happens if you stop taking creatine for a week? It'll open your eyes to what really changes when you pause creatine. And tell me in the comments. Have you tried creatine? What differences have you noticed? Let's learn from each other.